Woe is me, consumed by fire, I fall, dragging my shadow to where I don't now even recognize myself. Pedro Calderón de la Barca, El Gran Teatro del Mundo. Welcome back. I know you missed me. Weaving different narratives together, Cervantes turns our attention back to the strange squire whose nose now catches the attention of Don Quixote. At this point, the squire's strange nose caught Don Quixote's attention, and he was no less astonished to see it than Sancho, so much so that he judged him to be a monster or a new kind of man. This last phrase suggests the ethnic conflicts of early modern Spain. The term new man, hombre nuevo, alludes to conversos or moriscos, that is, new as opposed to old Christians. Sancho gets Don Quixote to help him escape the other squire by lifting him into a tree. This affects the outcome of the joust. The Knight of the Mirrors pauses when he sees Don Quixote occupied with Sancho. When Don Quixote turns about, for the first time, Rocinante actually runs. This was the only time he was known to have galloped. Thus, Don Quixote catches the Knight of the Mirrors off guard and knocks him unconscious onto the ground. Did you know Juan de Mariana, St. John of the Cross, and the Duchess of Cardona, as well as Cervantes, all objected to the mistreatment of conversos and moriscos at the hands of fanatical, orthodox old Christians? Now comes a major scene of anagnorisis, in which two sets of characters recognize each other. Lifting his enemy's helmet, Don Quixote is stunned to see the very face, the very figure, the very appearance, the very physiognomy, the very effigy, the very incarnation itself of bachelor Sanson Carrasco. He suspects sorcery, and Sancho has a brutal idea. Run your sword into the mouth of this man who seems to be bachelor Sanson Carrasco. Perhaps in him, you'll kill one of your enemy enchanters. Don Quixote agrees. Good advice. The fewer enemies, the better. Now the other squire rushes up to save his master. That man at your feet is bachelor Sanson Carrasco, your friend. But the squire is without his nostrils, and thus Sancho is shocked to recognize his own neighbor. Mother of God, is that Tomé Cecial, my neighbor and compadre? Yes, he is. And the other knight is Sanson Carrasco, our neighbor. Remember the theme, what makes for a neighbor, a friend or an ally? Is it ethnic identity or something greater still? How does Don Quixote react upon discovering that the knight of the mirrors is Sanson Carrasco? A, he gets mad and attacks. B, he is surprised and hesitates. C, he gets upset and cries. Correct answer, B, he is surprised and hesitates. When Carrasco regains consciousness, Don Quixote insists that he declare the superior beauty of Dulcinea and further, that the knight that you vanquished was not, nor could he be Don Quixote of La Mancha. Carrasco must do all of this that I may halt and temper the impetus of my anger and be mild in the assertion of my glory at your defeat. In many ways, the pacification of Don Quixote is the objective of the entire novel, and we still have a very long way to go. The chapter ends with another of Cervantes's increasingly natural and informal transitions. Don Quixote and Sancho return to the road to Zaragoza, where the history leaves them, so as to account for who the Knight of the Mirrors and the Nostralent Squire really were. Note the hilarious neologism, Nostralent Squire, Narigante Escudero, which dismantles errant knight, Andante Caballero, as well as the emphasis again on Zaragoza, as our final destination. That's all for now. Please tune in to watch our next video. If you liked this video and want to continue learning more about the knight errant Don Quixote de la Mancha, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel here. Also, you can enroll in our free online course on Don Quixote by clicking here.